YouTube. This is Denise here from Seuss Art. Got some really nice classical music on. Some Bach, I guess. No, Mozart. That's right, Mozart. Born in 17 whatever something and has no living descendants. No copyright issues. Yay! And I love this music. It's really good brain food. <laughs> we are going to go off the charts and do something wacky. I'm going to ask you a question. Now think about this. If you've made epoxy resin coasters before, have you ever failed? Has one or two of them maybe got a little, I don't know, uneven or something funky got all up in there? You know, funky, like, I don't know. This one here, look at it. It's, it's uneven. And that's because um, I took it from the front room to the back room to the wall. Okay. And uh, what am I going to do with this stuff? I don't want to throw it away. I am going to really, hopefully, blow your mind as I continue to blow my own. I'm going to put lights behind this. And then I'm going to take another piece that I've been working on. And you all remember this. If you don't, I will, uh, I will drop the link below. This is just a cheap piece of dollar store glass. Came in a frame for three bucks. Um, I, I put a glue tree on there, did some inks, and then um, because I, I knew eventually I was going to want light coming from behind this, I did a, a 3D pen tree behind it. So um, the glue gun is almost ready. We're going to secure this down a little bit more and put it off to the side. And uh, I'm going to show you how I, uh, I think I got glue. I have glue. Uh, <laughs> that thing goes really fast. Oh, I'm not going to burn myself again. I do it all the time. Okay. So, that is off to the side. These guys are going to be really cool. This is a, a 9 by 12 birchwood frame. And the reason why I chose 9x12 is because I wanted my 8 by whatever to fit <laughs> on the outside. I have drilled two holes. Actually, I didn't do that. My hubby did them for me. And uh, in those two holes, I'm going to put some fairy lights in. But before we do that, I'm going to do two sets of these little fairy lights. They're so cool. And what's really cool is... Um, you take the little screws off and you can replace the battery at any time. So we're going to put two of those in. But before we do that, we're going to have some alcohol ink fun. So let me get my gloves on. Get your gloves on. Get your gloves on. Um, I've been working really hard to upload a video that I did yesterday. Uh, I tried to do a split screen and uh, it failed because I was able to shut one of the cameras off. And then the, this camera flew, it just kept going, and it, it, it actually showed me finishing the piece, <laughs> which is kind of cool. So if it ever uploads, um, it'll be there. So the first thing I want to do is spray. And because uh, I'm in a box, hopefully I'm not going to kill everything around me. <laughs> this is Deep Violet. Pretty color she is, isn't she pretty? God, I think I inhaled some of that. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, this is Argyle. Argyle is kind of like a, if a rose married a um <coughs> a, a red violet or a violet plant. This is a Sharpie Blue. These are all Sharpie colors, by the way. Sorry, guys. Well, I'm going to hit it with some pinata white. You cannot make white Sharpies. Trust me, I have tried. Uh, uh. It doesn't work. Uh, ooh. Of course, I just got that all over the place over there. <laughs> Love the effects. Now we're going to drop. We're just dropping. Drop, drop, drop. This is pinata blue violet. I'm not looking for anything special. Again, this is all going on the back of coasters, which will be super glued in with lights. 
but we're going to blow this around because we're going to have fun. It's not fun unless you're having fun. So I didn't prep the wood for the alcohol. It's just going to get sucked right in there. I'm just throwing colors down. Tangerine, my favorite. Da, 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 da. Ooh, chili pepper. Uh, pa passion purple. E Are we making mud? I don't think so. <laughs> we could. Casablanca orange. Ask me if I care. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Before I add anything else, let's blow what we got around. If it'll blow. Ah, woo. Again, this is not primed wood. This is just going to be underneath. Underneath these. Whoa. Dries pretty fast. Alright. I'm trying to just dry a little bit so we can um, get the lights in here. Oh, almost dry, almost dry, almost dry. Oh, the glare. There we are. A little better. I usually have to go down a little bit. I'm going to get this glare thing figured out. I might have to get um, different lights. Or light covers. I don't know. Definitely a light behind me. That should offset that stuff. Alright. That was good. Ta-da! Alright. It's really easy to put these lights in. So I'm going to show you. Uh -huh. uh, you can get these at Amazon. Um, they are called. Specifically. Because you could look around on there forever. Um. S E E U O Coal White um, Pack of Twelve String Lights Battery Operated. I think they call them Fairy Lights on there, but if you, I'll get, I'll put the um, what is it, the UPC code in there so you can plug that in, and it should pop right up. Actually, I'll plug it in for you, and then send you the direct link. How's that? Make life a little easier. But they're really, really cool. You can cut them anywhere in between. You know, where it's like, let's say you think that's way too much. You don't need enough. There is a place where I encourage you to stop and don't put that in your piece. Um, if I was going to be doing epoxy resin in here, uh, these holes that I'm putting them in are very easily super or uh, uh, glue gunned. You can glue gun them and uh, be good to go. See? Now, the size of the hole for these particular lights is just a dot made with your Sharpie. And uh, that's what I did for my husband. I said, here's a couple of dots. Go out and drill that for me, please. <laughs> now, that's the first time I've asked him to do that. Um, it's just I was in the middle of, a, of that video yesterday, and I didn't have time. Because i got to get up this morning at 2. But that never happens. I snooze until 3. <laughs> so I got to get to bed early. It's been a fantastic fantastic three days off creative um, I did some house cleaning I got the studio open I'm really happy happy Woo. okay so I'm gonna show you the one I'm gonna pause the video and then put the other one in because I want you to kind of see what I'm doing so we have uh, <laughs> I guess I'd want that one there so I'm gonna put lights around in here uh, we'll put the greenie by the bottom I know I can only fit so many. There. So 
So we're going to swirl lights here. We're going to swirl lights here. Uh, I'm probably going to take that other one in, swirl lights around here, and lights around here. So I'll show you how we do that. And trust me, when the lights come through these boogers, it's beautiful. <laughs> it may have been a fail. But then all of a sudden it becomes this beautiful, beautiful thing. And what this is going to do um, behind the glass project is um, add like a mystique. Is that the word mystique? Let's turn it on. <laughs> huh. uh. All right. I really like that. So um, I don't have my finger rubber. But, so I'm going to bend these a little bit to make them easier to glue down. Stay. Stay. I'm going to add some glue here. Here. Let it sit and don't touch it. <laughs> Trust me, don't touch it. Don't touch the light. I'll turn this off so you can see what's going on. Just don't touch it. Because it will burn you. I'm telling you, it will burn you. Um, it'll burn you. That's all I'm saying. Uh, I have a callus that's still all burnt up. So, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Okay. Boop. All right. Make this job just a wee bit easier for me. I'm going to go ahead and saturate my coaster. Oh. 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 There we go. See how easy this is? All right. Down you go. Holding holding and you want to see what the light looks like coming out of that woo oh my god it's beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> look at that <laughs> I have a piece that I did um uh, can I show you let me see where is it <laughs> I think I can I don't, I don't believe I made a video on it because uh, it needed more work. Oh, here it is. It was a testing, testing, one, two, three piece. Well, I know those lights look bright, but um, not to me. It looks absolutely gorgeous. And uh, the, uh, the alcohol inks floating in there is just beautiful. So anyway, this is where we're going. Okay, so that was easy. Um, let's go ahead and do, uh, I'm going to go ahead, uh, so see I got two lights and I got just enough for, for the three. Ta -da. Uh, when I go to work on the bottom one, I'm going to take that light straight or up and around these guys down to the bottom. That's going to be my better thing. So I'm going to go ahead and add the glue. Why bother gluing them boogers down? I mean, this thing will hold it, right? I'm right. Okay. Hey, get out there. Uh, poof. <laughs> Woo. Looks really bright. But uh, let's see what our end result is coming out. OMG. The glare is not uh, showing you, but I'm going to fix that because I'm going to have to slide over. Um, but once we get all the gluing done, which um, I'm going to glue the other two in, I'm going to slide us down. We'll be out of the glare and we will finish this really quick. See you in a bit. All right, welcome back. So they're all in. This one had to be at a bit of an angle. I should have shoved this first guy up a little bit to get all three of them in. It doesn't matter. They're well glued in. The lights are behind them. Nobody's going to see this. Nobody. So I'm taking some... Uh, let me get these hairs out. Oh, the hairs don't matter either. So I'm taking <laughs> some coasters that were uneven or maybe it had a hair in it or an imperfection. And I have a whole box of those, so there's <laughs> a lot I can do with them. And I just thought, uh, I'm going to use them as a, a colorful light source um, behind my images. 
So again, I'm not gluing this down today because I want to get some, um, I have some special glue for that, but I am going to get it out of the glare so that you can see what we've done. Um, again, this is the tree and um, I'll flip it over again because there's no glare on this end. And you can see where um, I've applied a 3D uh, pen. What I just followed uh, the thing on the back with the pen. It's plastic. It was really easy. And this is um, dollar store uh, dollar store glass from a frame that I bought for a couple of bucks. So let's see what it looks like. Um, I really want to get you all out of the glare. <laughs> He's a minion, yeah. Uh, let's see what it looks like with the light. And the colors oh my god the colors are jumping out like crazy oh my god that's so pretty <laughs> I don't know if you can see it's so pretty so the lights are underneath the coasters that I could have thrown away but I didn't and they're adding some gorgeous gorgeous colors behind this picture <laughs> so what do I do after this um, I get some liquid nails I put that down across here and then I'm going to, well first I'm going to paint I'll do the same thing with the alcohol inks all the way around and then I'd pour a nice coat of epoxy resin on if you want to see that because I'm probably going to show you anyway leave me a comment below <laughs> so don't throw your old coasters away get you some dollar store glass Get just a glue gun if you ain't got one already. You should have one. That's part of your toolkit for explorations into the unknowns. How cool is that? That is so cool, guys, right? Maybe, maybe I'll throw some, uh, uh, um, oh, what the heck's the name of it? Moss. Some of that fresh moss in there. Now, nah, you can't really see it. That'd be a waste. I think it really looks phenomenal the way it is. So, I'm going to leave it. And um, <laughs> I love you guys. I hope you had as much fun as I did. Um, utilize your your imagination. You never know what could it do, right? What could it do? I love you guys. And I do want to share one little thing with you. One little thing. I'm really disappointed. Um, I, I made a tile yesterday. I'll show you the tile because you're never going to see the video. I'm not going to do it. Not going to see it. Um, Uh, this is a 78 cent tile that you can get at um, at Lowe's. I bought like five of them, I think. And um, I did a, a split screen video utilizing two cameras. And um, I worked all night rendering. It didn't work. I worked all morning rendering. It worked. I've worked all day uploading. It didn't work. So <laughs> I'm not going to do split screen for now. And if I do then I'll take both the files and I'll cut and clip them into the video rather than the full split screen effect because I don't know what I'm doing. Uh. <laughs> anyway, love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I really did. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I I'm not selling this one. I'm going to finish this one and put it up in my bedroom. That's going to be a beautiful nightlight, isn't it? Oh my gosh. Uh, love you guys. Have a great week. I start work tomorrow, so um, <laughs> we'll see what we can do. <laughs> Ciao, bella.